Hello, people who are, um, lazy and bored and strange enough to be sitting in the front of the computer watching my strange face. Um, a little while ago, a very good friend of mine, Naomi Mulek, gave me the challenge to make some videos explaining myself because I'm such a strange person. At least she thinks that I think I'm perfectly normal, but that's just what I think. And she made me this beautiful list of different things that I should tell people about. So I'm going to start that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to talk about right now, but it'll be awesome. Okay, so the first thing on this list is hugging. Um, hugging is a very important thing to me. As they say, eight hugs a day keeps the doctor away. I like hugs because they bring people together in the literal sense. And, I don't know, I just really like hugging people. So if you want to hug me and you don't know me, go ahead because it's a good thing to do. I won't be creeped out, I promise. Um, lounging habits. Okay, so if you don't know me, you know. You wouldn't know, but if you do, you would know that I like to lounge around on things. Like, if I'm standing around in some random place and I don't feel like standing anymore, I'll just sit down. Or if I'm just, like, sitting somewhere, I'll just, like, lay down somewhere. Or if there's, like, a bench and I feel like laying down, or I don't like standing where I am, then I'll just go and lie across the bench. And if there's, like, a bunch of people, then I'll just lie across them. Or if there's, like, a person, I'll just, like, lie across... I, I don't know. I just... When we were in Idaho, me and Naomi and the rest of the fiddle club and Teresa and other people, but it was, like... Yeah. Um, I think it was Naomi's mom said that we were, gave us each char characteristics about how we sat. I forget what Teresa's was, but mine was that I like to drape over things. And Naomi's was conforming to the objects that she sat on. So I was like drape person and she's like conformist person. Jeez, Naomi, such a conformist. Um, so that's my lounging habits. So don't be creeped out if I, like, randomly lie across you and then you don't know me. Yeah. Actually, there's a funny story about that. When I was really little, I was at this dance or, like, no, it was, like, a concert or something. And I was tired, so I just laid down on the person next to me. And there was, like, this random lady just sitting there. And I think I thought it was, like, my dad or something, but it wasn't. And I, like, just fell asleep on their lap. And they're just like, oh, hello, small child. I don't know you. Okay. Next is on the list is coloring of skin. Um, coloring of skin would mean not like, I don't tan myself. My skin tans fine, except for my face. You see how white this thing is? Look at my arm. Okay, you can't tell in the video most likely, but so much more tanner than my face because somehow my face just won't tan. The rest of my body will. But anyway, I like to draw on me and I like henna. And I like to use tanning lotion as henna. So I'll like make little designs on me with tanning lotion and then it'll look like henna. It doesn't last as long as henna, but it still is cool. Um, yeah. It's a lot of fun. I think it looks badass. And people say that I'm going to get skin cancer, but you know what? I think it's cool enough that I don't care. And if I get skin cancer someday, you know, I'll get cancer from something else if I don't draw on myself. So I might as well draw on myself. My parents are really annoyed about that, by the way. But that's no news. Tie-dye. Tie-dye is very cool. It's just really cool. I don't know, like, there's nothing, like, any stories I have behind it. I don't know. I just really like tie-dye. It's, I mean, it looks cool. It's like, you could have, like, a plain shirt, or you could have, like, a tie-dyed shirt and colors and... Like, why live if you don't want to stand out? If you're going to live, live your life to the fullest, right? I don't know, but I like tie-dye. I'm not sure if I should be looking, like, up at the can thing or down at the 
see, it looks like I'm looking down, but I'm actually just looking at my face in the computer. It's kind of funny. Oh my goodness. And my screen just went black. I wonder if you saw that. You know, you probably didn't. Okay. Next thing, walls. When people, like, write your writing things and whatever, and then you want to say something random, people generally say lol or whatever. I say lols. Like, with a Z on the end. And that's just my personal, like, little, like, catch to it. Like, come on, lol is boring. Say lol. And you can add a bunch of Zs in the end if it's, like, really, really ha ha ha. I don't know. Or you just want to, like, add sarcasm. I don't know. What if you want to do? Just put Zs on the end because it's cooler. It's more unique. And I'm a unique person. And the next one is bra storing, a.k.a. the boob factor. Actually, now we call it the boob factor whenever, like, I have money and I need to do something with that money and I put it in my bra. We call that the boob factor. And you know why we call it the boob factor? Because of her writing this on this piece of paper. It wasn't called that until she wrote this on this paper. She said something else. There's, like, a another place where she says something about factors. Here, somewhere. Oh, the height factor. Shortness. <laughs> I'll talk about that later. Because I'm short. You probably know that if you know me. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't like to wear jeans. And a lot of, like, the hippie pants that I wear, just random pants that are comfy, or if I wear leggings or whatever, they don't have pockets. And I need to put my money and my cell phone and my iPod and my... I have to put them somewhere and I can put them, like, down my pants. That's just weird. Because putting them in your bra is less weird than putting them down your pants. Of course. Yeah. Okay, next one is tiny feet. Now, that's not really a thing that I have. That's just something that Naomi finds is really entertaining to talk about my tiny feet. So, I'm going to have to say something about my tiny feet. I like my feet. I like that they're tiny. It's very difficult to find shoes for myself because my feet are so tiny that the smallest sizes they have is, like, generally too big for me. Although, you know, generally the smallest size, if I just find the smallest size, it'll be, it'll fit. Maybe it'll be a little too big, but, you know, I can, I can deal with that. I can deal with, like, a little bit of extra space. You know, my feet need to breathe, Mommy. Don't they need to breathe? Feet need to breathe. Okay, you're weird. Go away. Um, yeah. See my feet? I have tiny feet. I like my feet. Generally, they're a lot more dirty than this. But I haven't gone barefoot a lot lately. I like going barefoot. I don't like shoes. Because I can never find shoes that fit me. Oh, when I was really little, I always thought that it was stylish to wear, like, shoes that were, like... I can't... They were, like, that too big on me. I thought that was really stylish. I don't know why I thought it was stylish. I just did. Yeah. And then I realized that it was really uncomfortable and it didn't look good at all. It looked strange. It's weird. Hold on. I need to get comfortable here. Okay. Next on this list of beauty is unusual beauty. I don't think she was talking about me. I think she was talking about the fact that I like to call things beautiful. Like... Guitars, for instance, are beautiful things. This guitar is beautiful, and it has a beautiful little thing on the back here. Look, I got that. And you know what else is beautiful? Showers. They are so beautiful. Like, when you're dirty and you take a shower, you just feel like a beautiful person. And you feel like your soul is, like, renewed. I don't know. Whatever. I think soul was another thing I have to talk about on this list. But that's not yet, so I'm not going to talk about it yet, because then I'll end up talking about it twice. I feel like at some point I should end this video and start another one. Okay.